Anger has only intensified in Mexico due to the government's failure to find the missing 43 students. 40 days have now gone by since they were kidnapped, as protests increase in the country. Despite criticism, Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto will travel to Australia and China. Many have called the trip inappropriate, considering the state of upheaval in the country over the 43 missing students in Guerrero. A U.S. grand jury will decide whether to indict the Ferguson police officer who shot and killed Michael Brown next week. The city's mayor said the authorities should expect massive protests. Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa criticized the U.S. for ignoring international demands to lift the embargo on Cuba. The U.N. voted overwhelmingly in favor of lifting the blockade against the Caribbean nation. A Syrian rebel group accused the U.S. of killing many innocent civilians, including children with airstrikes. The United Nations and its allies have expanded their attacks in the Arab country beyond Kobani. Republican House Speaker John Bonner warned President Obama against using executive orders to pass immigration reform. He said this move would poison the relationship in Congress.